Hey everybody, it's Gamaragi. We're back with the dig. Last time we uh, let Brink dig a hole and he kind of fell down into it and uh, he died. Rest in peace, Brink. Rest in peace. We just kind of left his body there because we're not really sure what to do with it. So. Uh, we're exploring around this alien nexus area. Um, we found a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't make a lot of sense. We found a key card combo thing for one of the doors, but we're not sure which door it goes to. So, uh, well, we might try to figure that out this time. But first, we're gonna go down this ramp because it's uh, a place we've never been. It's hot here, and it's glowing down there. Ten to one, it's the power source for this place. All I need to do now is to find the light switch, or the plug, or the fuse box, or whatever makes this thing work. An instruction manual might help. Maybe a map. And I could use a sandwich. And a hot jukebox and a cold beer. Or just a starship headed for home. <sighs> Get a grip, Boston. Yeah, no kidding. It's going a little bit crazy there. Alright, so let's take a look down here. So this is the power source, huh? What is this thing? I can see a lens way down at the bottom. An unattached lens. Well, that might explain why these two are focusing and this one is going off in some crazy direction. So we have to find a way to move this lens to here. Oh, a lens slot. That makes sense. <laughs> the lens is missing. It's right here. I can see a lens way down at the bottom. Yep. These two are good. We don't need to mess with that. <laughs> okay then. Now this this puzzle right here was the first place I just got completely stuck. I remember when I was playing this when I was like 10. Because it's really, really difficult to figure out. <laughs> so yeah. Hopefully, I can get it done this Nothing time. Nothing happened. Nothing happened? Might be because the power's not channeling correctly. Okay, so we have this weird alien uh, control panel here. Okay. So that's a... Okay. That clears all of it. Just clears one. So this is like a backspace. And this is a clear all. And I'm guessing this is left, up, right, and down. And grab slash drop. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> now I'm not entirely sure where all of this is gonna go, because I don't know where it starts. So let's go just left, left, down, down, pick up. Who knows? W worth a shot. Okay. Well, we're definitely going to need more lefts. Uh, but the two downs work pretty well. So let's... Uh, let's put, like, four more lefts, a pickup, hopefully that'll work, and then an up, up, up. I don't remember 
what orientation it was in. <laughs> we'll do four ups, a left, and a drop. We'll see how it goes. I'm really just guessing right now, so... You crazy floating diamond! Why don't you do your job? too far. I went too far left. Okay. So we'll get rid of one of those. So let's just try that actually. Before we start putting a lot more stuff. Let's make sure it picks it up first. Yeah, lens get. Give it to me. Give it. Oh, whatever. So he's gonna have to put it down. Um, we're gonna have to just clear this. I think. Five lefts. Four ups, maybe. Not entirely sure how far it needs to go. We'll see. Diamond, go! Oh. Oh, wow. Did I seriously guess that right on the first try? Oh, yeah. rock fell from the ceiling, it must have cracked open an energy conduit under the floor. Interesting. Oh wow, this column's all powered now. There's a huge amount of energy flowing along this column. That's kind of, uh, pretty scary. Okay. I don't remember what we're supposed to do with this conduit. Always attach the jumper cables to the dead battery first. Oh. Do I have a dead battery? Is this a dead battery? Shoot. I don't know which door I want to open. <laughs> Just, we'll make a lap. Seems like this door doesn't have a, a combo. Unless it's this. Might be that alcove. Hey, Brink. Guess what, buddy? I turned the power on. Aren't you proud? Oh, dude, there's a plate right here. Looks like one of the control plates we found on Attila. Man, I walked right over that a few times. Okay, well, we need only three more plates. We can uh, get through that altar thing. All right, let's try opening this door with that same uh, password. Hopefully I remember it. Uh, let's see. Green diamond. Green thing. Oh, there are two levels of that, actually. I don't know if it's this one or the other one. I'll try that one first. Looks like that may not be the door. Well, I didn't try the other, the other shape on this one. I hope this was a good idea. Oh man, that was it! I had the right door the first time. I just. So what is through this door? I don't know. A death trap? Yeah. A mad scientist with a pretty girl and a talking robot? Probably. An alien cafeteria? 
I wouldn't mind Why that. Why am I just standing here? I don't know. After all, as Brink found out, the worst thing that can happen is you can take one wrong step and you're dead. That is true. But if you don't take any steps, then you're just gonna die on your feet. You want that to happen, Commander Lowe? I don't think you do. I really don't think you do. So much for the cafeteria idea. Boston, are you there? They use geometric shapes as a kind of combination for the locks. Boston, you won't believe where I am. I'm in a place filled with alien technology, the most fantastic things I've ever seen. And the machines are working. What are they doing? I don't know yet. I mean, they're really alien. Like nothing I've seen before. Don't go too fast, Maggie. I'll be careful, Boston. But it's not like we have time to use correct scientific procedures to test these things. Where are you? How can I get to you? I wish I knew. It's a sure thing you can't get here the way I did. I slid through a low tunnel in the rock, and then it kind of got filled with debris when the roof collapsed. You could have been killed. Gee, I guess this isn't safe. But if we'd been together, whoever went through the crack second would definitely have been killed. Keep that in mind when you're thinking about coming to save me. I handled it just fine. Yeah, I guess you did. We're both doing okay, Boston. We'll find a way to connect up with each other when it matters. Uh, Maggie? Good work. Thanks, Boston. Oh my gosh, I almost lost Maggie, too, to the same fate. How ironic, you fly thousands of miles to an alien planet only to get killed by rocks. It's kind of ridiculous. You at least need to be impaled by an alien tongue or something, I don't know. I flew 10,000 miles and all I got was a rock in the face. Well, this definitely looks like some kind of call button uh, or something. I don't know what the heck's going on here. Hmm. Maybe it's like the alien tunnel of love. It's a tunnel of love. I approve. Don't get sick on me, Boston. Now I know what my pet hamster felt like. I'm kind of scared. Where the heck are we, man? I need some help to pry this door open. If by help you mean a shovel? I need some help to pry this door open. Okay. Fine. Fine. You don't want the shovel's help? That's fine. I guess I really do need help. If only Brink were alive. Or Robins didn't abandon me. Nothing could open this door. Wow. That's quite a bold statement. <laughs> I'm sure something could open it. It is a door, after all. Come on.
What kind of fossil is this? It's like a weird giant bug with an arrowhead for a head. Big, strong back legs. Little skinny legs. There's a reason I'm paying a lot of attention to this. We're actually going to have to build this thing. And I remember that being another very, very difficult puzzle in this game. And this is really important because you need to know kind of what this alien looks like. But even if you do know what it looks like, it's kind of hard to do. <laughs> it's making that noise. Who's doing that? Plenty of water here. If it's drinkable, then we won't die right away. We'll have plenty of time to starve to death. <laughs> okay then, let's not stand next to the water. You okay with that? Okay with that? So that turtle creature uh, kind of looked like that fossil we were looking at. S sort of. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that giant serpent creature doesn't look very nice. Can we go back and. Oh, there's another sea creature. Quick, poke it! Poke it! That creature is beautiful. It has the appearance of a six legged turtle. <laughs> It makes me wonder if they have a common ancestor back on Earth. Unless it's just a coincidence of parallel evolution. Could be. Can we murder it? I don't want to frighten him away. Oh, okay. Can we... Uh... I guess we'll just leave it alone. See you later, turtle friends. Don't get eaten by that giant serpent now. Oh my gosh. I like this red and blue. It's beautimous. This game is actually really good looking for how old it is. <laughs> it's crazy. A panel? That's my favorite kind! Uh oh. Another ghost. The last one pointed the way down into the Nexus. Of course, that's how Brink died. Oh, that's true. You think this thing's trying to kill you? It did kind of show you to walk right off the cliff. That, that would be uh, pretty much death, I think. I can't open. I can't open it. <laughs> Whoa. I'm turning the lens. I know not what I do. Okay. This is a lot of garbly goob. This looks like the central island and the five islands around it. Created a light bridge. I hope, and hopefully, it's not just lights that I can just fall right through. <laughs> Question is, should I follow the ghost or should I go the completely opposite direction? I think the answer is pretty clear. <laughs> you gotta explore everything, man. Just a bunch gotta. of displays set into the walls, inscriptions here and there. I'd say it looks like some kind of museum. What? How did you figure that out so quickly? You literally just walked in here. You're crazy. Strange glowing crystals. Hmm. They look a little bit like the medicine my mom takes. 
I have two crystals. You do? I'm glad I took the time to examine them. Symbols written on a plate. Looks like an alphabet. Whoa, okay. Tear it right off. Can I look at this? What? How could you ever think this looks like an alphabet, man? Um. There's like a, an I. Some weird stuff going on. Wow. I I don't understand at all. It almost looks like a map, but he said it's an alphabet, so I don't I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> whatever man, whatever you say. A whole museum to look at. Wait, wait. <gasps> There's a rod up there. Oh my god. I feel like I'm making so much more progress. When I, when I was a kid, this game took me so long to beat. Another one of these engravings on a stick. Oh. What color is it? Red one? Aha! Cool. So we can go in the, the red door, I guess. That canister sure packs a punch. Well, I'm glad you understood what was going on. It looked like those griffin people were putting something in the mountain and then it created the doorway. So I guess it's like a grenade or a bomb of some kind. They just bring that one back from the dead? <gasps> Brink! Dude! Are we gonna have zombie Brink over for tea? I don't think I'd mind that. Unless he starts drooling and eating my brain. It looked like they broke one of these little crystals over that thing. So maybe these are life giving crystals? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Okay, well, I, I kind of lost track of time, so I'm going to end here, guys. Next time, we'll uh, we'll look at the rest of these displays. Maybe try to cross that light bridge and not fall through it in a comical fashion and die. But luckily, I got these crystals, so if I do die, whoa! We got it. So, yeah. Hopefully, if that's what they are. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.